Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about cell division and in particular we're going to compare the two different types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. We're going to look at the role of mitosis and meiosis, the site in which they occur, the process uh, which they go through just briefly, uh, and then look at the products of those two types of cell division. Now, because we're going to compare and contrast these two processes of cell division, uh, I've split it into a table. Now, ideally, I uh, would have on the left-hand side a third column with things like role and site and whatnot, uh, but it didn't fit well on the page, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but you can see that we have our mitosis and meiosis here. So, firstly, with the role and site. So, mitosis occurs in all cells in the body and is used for growth and repair. So they're the two big things that happen, things growing and tissues repairing. So an example of repair would be in the skin of a mammal. So for example, when you fall off your skateboard and graze your knee, uh, mitosis occurs within those skin cells where more skin cells grow and heal that site. An example of growth is in root tips. So as the root grows, there is a part of the tip just behind the cap called the zone of elongation. And this is where the mitosis occurs, pushing that root cap through the soil uh, as it grows. Meiosis, on the other hand, uh, only occurs in one place, and that's in the sex organs. So in humans, the ovaries and testes, and produces gametes, which are the egg and sperm in humans. Uh, so that's a much more specific one. Uh, so what, how we remember this is mitosis, mitose, occur, so it occurs in my toes and all over my body, and meiosis, my ovaries, it only occurs in the sex organs. Okay, the process by which these two forms of cell division occur. Uh, now, both have a process of DNA replication that occurs, and this takes us from a 2N cell to a 4N cell, where N is the number of distinct chromosomes that are inside the nucleus. So what this means is uh, humans have 20, or N is 23 for humans. Uh, so most cells in the body have 46 chromosomes. <laughs> when DNA replication occurs, this doubles and you end up with 92 chromosomes. We then have mitosis, which splits this cell uh, into two daughter cells, where each of those daughter cells take 46 of the chromosomes. So we're back to two N chromosomes. Uh, with meiosis, meiosis actually has two stages of splitting the cell. So in the first stage, we go from the 4N back down to the 2N, or the 46. And in the second stage, uh, we go from the 2N down to 1N. So we end up with four daughter cells, which have 23 chromosomes in them, which is half the normal number. Let's look at the results of these two processes. In mitosis, we end up with two daughter cells because there's one round of cell division. These daughter cells are identical and have a diploid set of chromosomes, diploid being the full number uh, that the normal cells in the body have, or 2N. Meiosis, on the other hand, we end up with four daughter cells, and these are haploid, uh, or 1N, having half the number of chromosomes of normal cells, and they are non-identical because throughout one of the processes of meiosis, there's this thing called crossing over, uh, where sections of DNA are swapped making them non-identical. Okay, so we have looked at the two forms of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. We've looked at their role, mitosis for growth and repair, meiosis for creating gametes, the site where it occurs, which is mitose for mitosis, so everywhere in the body, uh, and my ovaries for meiosis, only in the sex cells, the process where both have DNA replication, then mitosis goes through one division, while meiosis has two rounds of division, being meiosis one and two. And we've looked at the products where mitosis has two identical diploid daughter cells, and meiosis has four non-identical haploid daughter cells. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.